tu sabras dire là Menando sabres de la cusiata Inside this auditorium outside everywhere I stretch my hands I'm seeing oil by the power of the Holy Spirit Let it rest on people right now Let it flow to you let it flow to you For someone is bringing ease to your life you've gone through hardship hardship this is what god is taking out of your life this cause of hardship this yoke of hardship cause of hardship yoke of hardship the cause of hardship there are families who have gone through this in the name of jesus god is able to give men rest I pray that this oil will flow to you right now outside inside let it flow let it flow let it flow by the power of the holy spirit let it flow in the name of jesus christ you will be surprised at the things that begin to happen to you some of you even from this service right now before the service is done miracles miracles supernatural manifestations of god's power ah of Jesus I'm seeing stones I believe this represents altars I want to pray now I'm seeing stones in the name of Jesus if there be anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of ancestry activities of darkness altars and yokes manifesting in your dreams stopping doors of favor cutting short the ministry of helpers you are going to shout the name Jesus and let that fire rest upon you and consume every altar. Are you ready at the count of three? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I cause every altar. I cause every altar in the name of Jesus by the blood, by the blood of the eternal covenant, by the blood of the eternal covenant. I arrest every spirit tying down lives. I arrest every spirit tying down families. You give way now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing uh, the, the spirit of heaviness. There's a, there's a manifestation of that spirit in the Bible. Now you'll be given a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. I don't know who that is, but an anointing is coming upon you. That spirit of heaviness manifesting as depression, manifest a as suicidal thoughts in the name of Jesus. Now I declare, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken. It be broken. Now the spirit of heaviness be loose from it right now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the vision of a gentleman and others are walking forward. But what I'm seeing in my vision is you are walking backward. This is what I'm seeing. Not that you are looking back. You are walking back while others are going forward. This is what I see. You know, let me tell you, backwardness is a curse. Because the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light. You can be backward in ministry, in I mean, progressive decline, if I will use that expression. That means there is no day that is ever better than the previous one. No. All your yesterdays are always better than your tomorrows. I want to cause that spirit right now. Anyone here, Jesus, the spirit of backwardness, responsible for retrogression, financial retrogression, 
responsible for ministry responsible for the decline in families i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hear me the lord is saying i should tell someone there is an explanation as to what killed your father there is an explanation as to what killed your mother there is an explanation as to what is killing the men in your family i decree and declare any programming from hell that after every season somebody must die as a sacrifice die by witchcraft or by accident i decree and declare right now let fire from heaven my god fall upon every altar every altar fueling death every altar fueling death every altar fueling death be destroyed now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the bible says do not let your good be evil spoken of the lord wants to minister to someone there is nothing good you do that is perceived as good it's like there is a covering cast on you and people always misinterpret what you do always whether it's in the place of work whether it's in the house of god anything good you do it is always misinterpreted i pray for you every covering cast on anyone misrepresenting you making you look evil whereas you are good making you look dishonest whereas you are honest i tear that veil now i tear that veil now I tear that fail now. I tear that fail now. I tear that fail now. Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking to me about someone. You are always afraid of good things because they never last. It's like there is a curse in your family. Nobody celebrates longevity of good things. If you rejoice over a job, Death will come and cancel the story. If you rejoice over a child that is born, another tragedy always comes to cancel what God is doing. I want to pray for that person. Not everybody, but there's someone here and that anointing will come upon you as I pray. In the name of Jesus, whatever makes evil to outlive good, whatever makes the testimony of God's faithfulness to die prematurely over your family, I come by this anointing and I come by this mantle right now. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Did you bring a guitar? Please play the strings for me. Elato Savlia Kasha Brandigi Balato Skiata. You always return to your parents' homes after you marry. It's a spirit. Nobody stays successfully in marriage. It, something must happen. Either a quarrel with your spouse, either whatever it is. It's a demonic enchantment. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for someone right now. Release your faith as I pray. There is a lady, I'm seeing you, you are from Edo State. This is what happens to your family. Nobody, either they get pregnant outside of wedlock or even if they make it to marriage, it's only as if they just went for an excursion, they return back. You are from Edo State. The power of God is touching you. Where is that lady? If, is there someone like that? You are from Edo State. This, this is what happens to your family. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Where are you from? Edo State. Yes. Sir. How many are you in your family? We are six. Six. Yes. Sir. Are they married? Yes, sir. My, 
an elder sister have four children from four different men. Four but children from yes, four sir. different men. Yes, sir. Something will just happen and they will send her back home. Something will happen and the men. Oh, she married four different men. Yes, sir. And had children and they sent her back yes, home. Sir. That's all right. That's okay. The Bible says even the lawful captives. Don't be too quick to condemn people, though. There are influences that move people, even the lawful captives. What God says to one, he says to all. I want to use this, my dear sister, as a point of contact. If there is any spirit that says you will not enjoy your home, that you will be there and be driven away like a fugitive in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, that yoke is hereby broken. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I don't know if it's you or your sister. You've had like three or four people die. Children. You give birth but they die. Either they come out a stillbirth or maybe some kind of premature experience. This is, this is children dying. If there's such a person, let me speak to you. Else we'll just continue. In the name that is above all names. It's a spirit. Either you give birth to a child and then the child dies. You see that? By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare. Whatever eats up children to make sure that you don't deliver. Look up. The Bible says, I saw a mystery in heaven. And that mystery was a woman who was pregnant with a man child. She was about to give birth. And he said a dragon came from nowhere and stood. Just waiting for her to give birth. So that she will eat the child. A child may mean a physical child. But a child may mean a vision. A child may mean anything that comes out of you. A product of your sacrifice and creativity. I pray for you. Every demonic thing waiting to eat up your sacrifice, your sweat. And even physical children. By the blood of the eternal covenant, that agreement is hereby cancelled. That agreement with hell is hereby cancelled. That agreement with hell is hereby cancelled. That agreement with hell is hereby cancelled. I'm hearing a name, I believe that should be the northern part of Nigeria, Godia. Godia, that's Thanksgiving in Hausa. Who has that name? Godia. There is somebody with that name. I want to pray for you. Please make sure if that is not your name, don't worry. You can stay where you are and receive. I'm hearing the name Godia. Then I'm hearing the name Ephraim. 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 Who is that person? Ephraim. The Lord is saying rebuke the spirit of death. Ephraim. I'm hearing that name. Rebuke the spirit of death. There is a plot to take that person by hell. Ephraim. In the name of Jesus. If that is your name, Please, if it's not your name, just sit back where you are. And I'm not a prophet of doom. When God reveals, it is because he wants to redeem. Ephraim, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you. That no arrow will be fired into your body as mysterious sickness that the hospital cannot diagnose. And suddenly you wake up one morning and the man dies in the night. I pray for you. What's your name? I pray for you. What God says to one. You see, the thing about prophecy is not just about God isolating individuals at the mercy of others, at the um, expense of others. No. God only uses someone as a point of contact to announce many people's condition. Are we together now? So you receive by faith. Please, if you are not in the category that I called where house of order, make sure you stay back. Godia. Who is Godia? All of you? there is a woman here God wants to set you free you don't have to come out every time you take in a man comes to you in a dream to try to molest you and even while you are already once that happens you must lose the pregnancy it doesn't matter what happens you will find out you start seeing blood and that becomes the end of it i need to pray for you because it's a season you don't need to come out you are going to receive by faith this is something every time you get married it's like there is another husband and once that man shows up in the dream you must lose that child doesn't matter how many months of pregnancy you have it's a demonic programming 
the Bible says casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ I'm still praying again I use this gentleman Ephraim I'm speaking by the influence of the spirit every death the plague of death by the cause of sickness mysterious sickness that cannot be diagnosed in the hospital and someone just keeps emaciating until you die looking like maybe HIV or something in the name of Jesus we cancel it now 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 I'm saying it by the anointing what killed your father will not kill you what killed your father will not kill you we speak life in the name of Jesus go dear I want to pray for you is there someone with a name like Asabe that looks like a Muslim name huh? your auntie where are you from? I'm from Kaduna State. I'm talking of somebody here. Well, I will pray for you, but Asabe, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. I'm still hearing that name again. Asabe looks like a Muslim name. Or, well, sometimes Christians can, can have it too. Please verify so we don't have people. What is he coming out for? Your name is Asabe? Huh? Your mom? Okay, let him come. If, if it's his mom. Where is she? Meduguri. Plateau. Okay, no problem. You can come. When God reveals things like this, ladies and gentlemen, he's not wasting your time. And don't just focus on those who are in front. I'm saying it again. Prophecy uses an individual case as a point of contact. Are we together? It's the same grace that rests on someone. The Lord is showing me a lady you never have profitable relationships this is marriage relationships you are a very beautiful lady you love god but the moment a man and i'm seeing that a curse was pronounced by a man of god over your grandfather this is what i'm seeing a curse was pronounced by a man of god over your grandfather that because of something he did to insult the name of jesus that it will be like it's like a, a cause out of anger I'm not a prophet of doom God is solving issues here if a man comes to you and says I want to see your parents that statement alone something happens either his finances will go down or people will advise it against you but I pray let, let fire from heaven in the name of Jesus Christ we pray mercy whatever made that cause to come upon your family and your bloodline by the blood of the eternal covenant I cry mercy 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 in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says what is the lamb that was slain he was already slain you cannot suffer the consequences of what grandfathers or forefathers did therefore let fire destroy that altar in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ They want to go and see your parents and it looks like an embargo just comes and you cannot even understand it. Character, loving Jesus. Listen, look at me. Believe me, I don't mean to scare you, but you must understand spirit transactions over the destinies of men. Otherwise, if you fool yourself that life is only scientific or physical, or sociological you will be cheated a thousand times hallelujah I want to pray for you Asabe in the name of Jesus my sister look at me that lady what do you do I'm a lawyer but I work in an NGO an NGO where are you from I'm from Adam State father in the name of Jesus look at me I'm seeing that you I don't know if you are doing it or you're going to start a business this is what God will use to prosper you in a way huh? God will lift you you know how God lifts somebody and uses the person to wipe the tears of their family members I place grace upon you go and write it make sure you go through this prophetic word and act on it by faith 
I don't know who God needs to raise like that. There will always be someone God will raise to wipe the tears of a family. It is God's intention to reach everybody, but it starts with one person. I'm praying for you, and an anointing is going to come on people now. If you are the one anointed to be the opener of ancient doors over your family, that a door that has refused to open, God is anointing you at this miracle service. You are carrying the mantle of a warrior. You are the one who will open that door ministerially, open that door financially, open that door maritally. Right now, receive that impartation. Receive that impartation. Receive that impartation. Receive that impartation, whether male or female. I say it again. The grace that opens doors, that you are the first person that God will use to deliver your family from shame, from reproach. Let that grace rest on you now. In the name of Jesus. Now, let me pray for those in front so that they can go back to their seats for those who can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, the Lord brought you out here, the graces you have received remain with you. And the demonic spirits that have troubled you, hear the word of the Lord, I command those influences to live your life forever. Never to return again, in Jesus' name. So those who are under the anointing in front and they can, please let them walk victoriously back to their seats. Hallelujah. Godia, did I prophesy? Have I spoken about them? I want to pray for you. Behold the glory of the Lord. Behold the lion and the lamb. Behold the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. I cancel this obituary I'm seeing. I'm seeing that this week, I don't know if the person is here, but I'm seeing a car accident, a car and a tree. This is, and the car is ramping to a tree and everybody in the vehicle, whole family with all the children, in the name of Jesus, I cry unto the God of all grace. We cancel it now. It's always a demonic thing. Always a demonic thing. We cancel it now. Oh, we exert dominion over this vision. We cancel this accident now. We cancel this accident now. I declare the covering of the blood upon your head. You and your children will not die by accident. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. There's a woman here. You are a teacher. Teacher in a secondary school. Teacher in a secondary school. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing God wants to do something. I'm seeing at least four children. You're a woman. You're a teacher. You teach. That's what you do. In a secondary school. Um, I pray for you. Please place your hand. I want to rebuke. There's something... Anything that is growing in your stomach, whether as fibroid or whatever it is, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare now, let that demonic thing die. You had a dream, and in that dream you saw a diagnosis, and it was cancer. I'm not saying you have cancer. You had a dream. Please, if there's such a person here, I want you to come out. Come. How do I know what dream you had? Come. You had a dream. It was a diagnosis in that dream. And it was cancer. Do you know? Please look up. I don't mean to scare you. It's a miracle service. I remember back then in Zaria. That was the first time I saw that vision. I'm not saying if you have cancer. I'm going to pray for the sick. I've not prayed for the sick yet. There's a reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I remember praying for a woman many years ago. And this woman said someone came to her in a dream holding a syringe and saying this is HIV, uh, uh, HIV virus injected her in the dream. She woke up physically 
and started having symptoms of HIV. And then the trouble is that it was not only her. It started spreading to the, you can imagine a family. Nothing at all that should bring HIV. And yet all of them like that, HIV. This work of ministry is like medicine. You will see a lot of things, a lot of things. But the Bible says, thanks be to God. I pray for all of you, any planting of Satan. Huh? I will pray for the ones who I just mentioned now with the case for cancer. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you, Godia. In the name of Jesus, between now and August, for one of you, one of you, between now and August, God is telling me that what you will do in your life will bring you rest. Because this has been your prayer. Rest. And one of the issues is marriage. Rest. It will, it will happen so fast it will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will happen so fast it will surprise you. In the name of Jesus. And for anything that the devil has planted, help that lady, in your stomach, fibroids or whatever growths, I curse it right now. It stops growing and it dies permanently. Help that lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. A dream. Was it not through a dream Solomon received wisdom? Dreams are vehicles. They can transfer nonsense and they can transfer grace. A dream is also a portal in the spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I know some of you here didn't really have a dream. You just came up, but no problem. The mercy of God, but hallelujah. Obedience sometimes when you want to receive from God, just, just obey. Amen. But let's pray. God is a merciful God. Father, I decree and declare, anyone carrying anything in their body now that came from a dream realm and is waiting quietly to manifest as cancer, waiting, you are, you are beginning to see symptoms, pain, weakness, growth that looks like appendicitis, but it's not appendicitis in the name of Jesus. Because for someone, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want you to, to I'm seeing it looks like almost like an ovarian cyst but it's not it's not a cyst is is growing to become something that is cancerous in the name of jesus we cry unto the god of heaven let it stop growing now and die from this body let it stop growing now and die from this body let it stop growing now and die from this body i say it again let it stop growing now and die from this body in the name of Jesus. I may not have the liberty to describe what I'm seeing. You're a lady. But you need help. This one, what you need is both prayer and medical attention. Please listen to me now. What you need because there's, there's wisdom in dealing with things. Because with what the Lord is revealing to me, this is something that is a reproductory problem. You may need to meet the medical uh, uh, people maybe immediately to help you because i'm going to pray for you but in all honesty you also need to be attended to medically because i'm seeing that this has it's not something that is good and let me use this opportunity and challenge believers we are people of faith but take responsibility over your health are we together there is nothing wrong and it is not lack of spirituality when you find yourself maybe there's some pain there's some boil there's some growth there's some, you know, whatever it is. And sometimes people do not want to look like they are not believing God. So they don't take medical steps. There is nothing wrong. I do not believe there's anything wrong. Are we together? Most challenges can be managed at the stage of infancy. At least medicine has been that advanced. And while you are trusting God to step in, there are some things that only medicine would deal with because... The, the condition of this lady is not something to say in public. It's not safe, it's not wise even. But let me advise you, don't feel bad. You can go to the medical stand and you can talk with the doctors. They are trained and they will help you and recommend a solution for you now. Otherwise, you're going to destroy your organs in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God comes to give us wisdom. Are we learning now? So that don't be careless. While you are trusting God for a miracle, it's important to take personal responsibility. 
personal responsibility. I'm about to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing someone I need to pray for you. Uh, I'm not a doctor. I don't know how many variations of diabetes, but you have sugar diabetes. Sugar diabetes. And if I don't pray for you, this thing has produced a lot of internal injuries. I want to pray for that person. Diabetes. I don't know whether it's a young person, elderly person. I don't mean to embarrass you, but I'm having a very strong prompting within my heart to pray for people with diabetes. So even if you don't have the courage to come out, no problem. When I begin to pray for people, open up your heart to receive. But diabetes, we need to pray that. Why is she here? The lady. The teacher. Look at me. You are a teacher? Where? Private school teacher, secondary. Primary school teacher. A private school teacher, secondary teacher. Are you married? How many children do you have? I have four. One gone. One is gone. These are teachers? Okay. Diabetes. We're a family. We're a family. So once you can stand in, well, I won't say you can stand in for someone who have too many people come out. If you're standing for someone, just remain on your seat and connect by faith so that we have people who are standing in for themselves. Just bring Mama gently here as we pray that devil out of her body. Look at me, my dear. You're a teacher too. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Um, yes, you just put them one side. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Ah, I'm praying here, but what I'm seeing has nothing to even do with the spirit of death. Look at me. This lady wearing, look at me. I want, where are you from? Ogi State. I need to rebuke a spirit. There's a dangerous spirit of death hovering around your life. I stretch my hands and I declare in the name that is above all names, the sound of death will not be heard in your family again. I curse that spirit right now and I declare be delivered now. If you have diabetes, come out. Oh, let me pray for you. When God speaks, it's because there's an anointing on it. There's an anointing on it. Fathers, mothers, if you are not sure, don't just come out for a medical condition. Remember Gehazi? Don't come out for a condition you don't know anything about. So please, make. if you are yet to diagnose it, just come. I need to pray. These young people, are they on their own? Huh? Do they understand what I said? Find out, please. No, no, I know. I'm talking about our, our little ones here. You, you, diagnosed with diabetes? Two of them? Okay, I can see it. There will be mighty testimonies. I'm not a doctor, but I've seen people die from this satanic thing. It's a silent killer. Madam, the anointing is on you. This woman, I decree and declare right now. Huh? Let, let that demonic thing... You see, most of it is demonic. I'm telling you this. I lay my hands upon you by faith. Every spirit planting diabetes that in spite of treatment, in spite of the drugs, it does not seem to give way. Help, help that woman. I command right now, be loose from that demonic thing. Be loose from it now. Be loose from it now. Be loose from it now. Every internal injury that has refused to heal or physical injury that has refused to heal traceable to diabetes in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands help that woman let the power of God rest upon you now you shall not die shout amen you shall not die if it has killed someone within your family in the name of Jesus I declare minus you minus you therefore from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet diabetes be healed now diabetes be healed now diabetes be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ please return to your seat rejoicing God bless you thank you return to your seat rejoicing God bless you God bless you you know while we were having the sound of revival conference I made a call. I was, I think that was in US. I was so humbled. I made a call for those who needed to stand in having their children suffering from mental health or autism. I could not believe the number of people who came out. 
Now, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not speaking professionally. I don't know what is responsible for this mental health damage and this autism. But I feel led in my spirit to just do this. Now, please listen. If you have a child, you don't necessarily need to come with a child. But if you, you, are, you are standing in trusting God for your child or someone, mental health or autism, please, very quickly, we have one minute. Come and stand here. I want to speak over your life. Mental health. Damage, mental health damage or autism. An autistic child. Alina Shobadea. Let's all pray. Let's all pray while they come. It, it doesn't have to be your child. I hear me if you don't have children yet, connect and pray that as I'm praying for them, I am sowing a seed. Some of those children were born normal. The devil just attacks them to plague them with autism. But thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. A shield for me, be all my glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. Listen, whether you are standing for your own child, let me say this before we pray. And this is particularly to those following online. I want to salute every father and every mother globally managing an autistic child. I want to salute you from the depth of my heart. I have watched the discomfort firsthand that managing autistic children, there are people who had to cancel their jobs completely. Those, some had to relocate to other nations. I remember once meeting a lovely man, a lovely family I visited years ago in London. Lovely people, but they had this child with an aggressive dimension of autism. Like aggressive. If you ever go to bed and leave that child, you may wake up with the house on fire. Are we together? So when we pray for people like this, it's an act of responsibility. Because I tell you, this autism thing is a satanic thing from the pit of hell. Can tie down any destiny. You know, sometimes we have people here after service. I have the honor of praying for some of these people. And you can see a grown young man. The mother cannot live her life again. She suffered to give birth to him and she will still not rest. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. How about the mental health problem? Intelligent people who should be working. I know one who lacerates himself with um, a knife or objects like this you see that because of anger and frustration and some of them in that frustration they go online and then they start connecting with with extra biblical spiritual things for solution they are introduced to all kinds of satanic things technology for you you will see testimonies from this prayer when, when God speaks, let me tell you, my dear people, if you have an autistic child, take your mind away and look unto Jesus. Release your faith. Don't say, I prayed before. And if you are following online, perhaps you have an autistic child, you can bring the child forward and connect. I'm about to pray for the sick, but it was just put in my heart. Look how many people standing either for their own children or some other people they love. Let's stretch our hands as a family over these ones. Go ahead. Stretch your hands. If God has given you children who are healthy and normal all the way, thank him, but sow that seed to another family. Lord, visit this family. Wipe their tears. Not to talk of families that have multiple children with autistic conditions. 
Shalika paroska dia tabalanda katosi bata. Koinonia connect by faith. A miracle is about to happen right now. Shaparaka tata palaka tabaraka tos. Pray, Lord, deliver these families. Deliver these children. Give their parents rest. For God's sake, give their parents rest. In Jesus' name I pray. I want to rebuke the spirit that is back of that autistic condition and that demonic condition. Father, I'm praying right now for all the precious families in front. Some of them are parents standing for their children. Some of them are siblings standing for their other siblings. Some of them are loved ones just standing for neighbors and friends. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. The spirit that is back of any autistic condition or any mental health condition, right now I speak to you here at this miracle service. Leave God's people now. Leave God's people now. Let there be healing for our children now. It doesn't matter how long they've carried it. I pray that the power of God will rest upon them. That those children will sleep and wake up normally. Those who are not able to talk. Some of them that soon after this prayer, they will begin to talk and speak coherently. In the name of Jesus Christ. And if there is any pattern of it in your bloodline, as you are standing here, we cancel it now. We cancel it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Please return back rejoicing. Please return back rejoicing. Hallelujah. Please return back rejoicing. I hope you are not tired of receiving. I want to pray a very special prayer right now. And I want you to listen before you come out. It is not something I would usually do. I want you to listen before you come out. You come from a family where there seems to be a cause upon marriages, marital problems. Either nobody gets married or they never stay. If you understand what I just said, I want to pray for you. If you will see people, beautiful ladies, handsome guys, responsible, but it's like nobody. You see, I'm only acting as the spirit of God. Is I'm not saying if you want to marry. That's not the question. Listen to instructions. If you want to marry, God will release that grace and call forth your spouse. But I'm talking of families. You know that this is a satanic thing. Please come out. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. Do you know? Look up, please. I even hear that there are families where they tell them that if it is to marry properly and have children. Now, please don't feel bad if maybe you've had a child and you're not yet married or you're a single mom. Don't worry, we're a family of love. But I need to say this. I hear that there are families, with all due respect, where they even tell ladies, you better go and find a man who will get you pregnant so that you can trap the person and have a husband. Let me tell you this with all due respect, it's not a kingdom's way. Don't believe in that nonsense. Are we together? You can with dignity of kingdom integrity, marry properly to a good man, a good woman. And just because it happened to great grandfather and father it is your responsibility to fight it and say it dies from me this negative pattern are we together now so i'm about to pray fire is going to rest on many of you because you may not know what is responsible beautiful lady 
handsome guy you love jesus someone comes to meet you and say i want to see your your parents and something just happens like this but if you agree to go and have a child or you agree to go and bow to Baal, then it looks like it works the devil is a liar god is visiting situations tonight because you see let me tell you for as long as families remain dysfunctional there is a generation that will pay that price now i say this with all due respect but for as long as there is progressive dysfunction in homes eventually a generation there will be a threshold and a generation will pay that price so god is stepping in now to show mercy and i'm glad that some of you are standing do you know what it means as you are standing i told myself as a person i said everything that came from generations past maritally that is not of god i told myself it ends with me that is a covenant i made with my destiny are we together now if you, you did nobody chose where he came from but what you do with the realities before you now is your responsibility if you give excuses and say one day go better i assure you nothing will change but the day you get angry he said the breaker is gone forth you can get angry and say from whatever happened children before marriage okay thank god for those who went before me but you make up your mind that from you all it is going to end once and for all who is ready to make that decision i pray for you some of you is that parents who were not believers in a bid to go and search for solution search for children they fraternize with spirits they went to rivers waters and entered into covenants out of desperation give us children and we'll return them back to you and some of you are victims of these things right now others parents were sincere maybe they had not met jesus christ they went to native doctors and they gave conditions they did not understand by the blood of the eternal covenant any altar here tying down marriages by fire from heaven be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now, be delivered now. hear me every agreement between your family past and the devil that everyone from this family must worship the devil or worship some shrine you may call it any name whether you call it aleku whether you call it whatever it is i stand here by the voice of prophecy i cancel every agreement i cancel every agreement from plateau state to benue state to kogi state to the east to the west every agreement with the waters agreement with the sea agreement with spirit i cancel it now i cancel it now my dear sister every veil on your face that as people look at you in the realm of the spirit they are seeing something else by the power that raised christ from the dead if you have the faith to believe this prayer i tear that veil right now 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 now let me say this let me say this please listen to me gentlemen i'm going to pray a very special prayer for you now it's a prayer that i pray for myself and when it's time to pray everybody can receive but the men i want you to receive it the spirit of a servant and a beggar there are families that have that covenant the only way they live is by being beggars if you like go and do a phd anywhere around the world it is the women that feed the men no matter how hard working they are let me tell you it's a cause from hell things can happen temporarily i understand 
but where it becomes a norm 30 years into marriage the house was built by the wife the car was bought by the wife the only thing the man is doing is just to live there it is against divine order he said after you have suffered for a while that the God of all grace will establish you settle you everyone here that which has fought quality marriages in your family this miracle service you will not forget it in a hurry in the name of Jesus Christ I place an anointing on you the anointing that came on Rebecca that out of the many ladies who were at the water side when the servant of Abraham saw her he knew that this is the wife for Isaac let that grace rest on you and every gentleman here whether you are standing for yourself your siblings or your children in the name of Jesus the grace for your hand to be strengthened so that you can move to another season of your life I decree and declare let that grace rest on you in Jesus name please return to your seat rejoicing let's celebrate them return to your seat rejoicing gentlemen lend me your attention now I want to talk to you I will never raise a people who are only spiritually vibrant and then remain economically incapacitated it is a curse from the pit of hell quote me anywhere are we together the inability to provide for your family and to live a life of dignity and honor this is something that you have to fight and fight and fight again please make sure you help the people so that nobody is hurt hallelujah now look up please brothers I'm praying for everyone but I'm praying for you you may not know the implication of this prayer but there are many parents today in their 70s and 80s they are still feeding their children till today mama is using her retirement to feed 8 10 15 children it ought not to be so and it's not like the gentlemen are lazy I don't know why God is moving in this direction today but I believe that God is insisting that the glory of God must be announced in your life. Are we together? Yes. Do you know one of the reasons why people are getting into Yahoo and uh, cultism uh, and money ritual? I will tell you because everybody wants to make progress. And when people are pressed like this, they only honor what is consistent with their convictions. So when the gentleman wants to make ends meet, it is not necessarily out of desperation or wanting money. Some just want a decent life. But since it is not there, they watch a friend who was once a beggar and in one month or two months for going to kill somebody or doing something, now has a car, now has a house. No matter what you say, there are people who will be desperate enough and say, show me. Even if it's to sacrifice my mother, I will sacrifice her. So on one hand, we don't just tell people stop money ritual, stop sin, stop this. You have to show people the way. If you don't show them the way, you will be talking nonsense on stage. They will, people are desperate. They will follow the direction of salvation or a semblance of it. I want to pray for every gentleman here. I confess to you that being established with the dignity of kingdom integrity outside the help of God is almost difficult for many men in our generation today to get a house of your own without stealing without killing without destroying without bribery if God does not help you you'll be wasting your time there are people who have finished school 20 years 25 years they've not had the first job when are they going to how much is one block how much is one cement when are you going to build a house for yourself talk less help others that's where grace comes and I want to pray for you. I want you to receive it. God is a helper. You're the lifter of men. The lifter of men. 
I believe that with all my heart. Father, I pray for everyone here, but particularly the gentlemen. I decree and declare everyone who is genuinely part of this grace by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Ali Sani Makaparakatos. Lebre Ketebega Badakatobarikata. Whether you are here on ground, outside, connecting across the globe, I pray for you. It would do you like a dream the way God will establish you. I say it from the depth of my heart. It will be as if you are dreaming how my God will lift you. God will cause productivity to be your second name. God will raise strategic relationships as a leverage for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hands now. A healing miracle. Please lay your hands very quickly. A breast lump, lay your hands there. Heart condition, lay your hands there. Headache, lay your hands there. Leg pain, lay your hands there. If it's a blood disease, lay your hands on your heart as a point of contact. Please, let's do that quickly and by faith. Remember my teaching? Now is the time to release your faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, your people have come and many have come to be healed. We've come to receive all kinds and all variety of miracles, but many have come to be healed. In the name that is above all names, I decree and I declare right now over someone who has been plagued by sickness, plagued by infirmity. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that is back of that condition, I come against you now. Amen. Koinonia shout a believing amen. amen. The spirit that is back of that infirmity be arrested now in the name of Jesus. Now I declare be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Your blood be cleansed. Bone conditions be healed. HIV be healed. Cancer disappear. Lumps and growths across various parts of your body. They come under arrest now. You couldn't walk. You came here aided or you know you could not walk I declare strength to your limbs now you came here unable to see begin to see now unable to hear begin to hear now you couldn't move any part of your body your neck your ankles your arms in the name of Jesus let life surge to those parts of your body by the power of the Holy Ghost. I decree and declare. Peptic ulcers. Be healed. Pile. Be healed. There's someone you have like a boil. Inside your armpit. Severe discomfort. Be healed now. There's someone. Don't be embarrassed. But I'm seeing this. You have. And I've seen this many times. You have what they call mouth odor. It's, it's a very pungent smell. You know about this and it's affected you. You've done your best. Looks like some cavity problem. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whilst you make the medical efforts to deal with it. I'm praying for you. Let the spirit that is bringing this situation leave you now. Amen. There's someone you have a problem. You have a problem swallowing. Even when you don't take anything, it looks like you are swallowing something that never goes down. You know, just like some problem with your throat. The Lord is healing you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing you. There is a child that is a sickler. The Lord is healing that child now. I'm seeing a child whose eyes is quite yellow like it is for sicklers SS. The Lord is healing that child now. In the name of Jesus.
appendicitis be healed now liver problems be healed now kidney problems be healed now in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus heart palpitations be healed now I say it again heart palpitations be healed now in the mighty name of Jesus your right eye you're not able to see very well with your right eye the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus there's someone when you sit down it looks like your bone around the lower back area there's excruciating pain I decree and declare after this prayer you sit down and find out you are fine in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus and by the power that raised Christ from the dead I bring you life and healing high blood pressure be healed low blood pressure be healed high blood pressure be healed low blood pressure be healed I say it again high blood pressure be healed low blood pressure be healed severe burning sensation around your chest be healed now in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray now we're going to pray I wanted us to pray my God I don't know if we we'll have the time to take testimonies there are two prayers the Lord put in my heart and I want us to pray okay let's pray it even if we don't have the time to testify we can testify another time please stand let's pray let's pray collate the prayer request have you submitted your prayer request please bring it out ushers let's let's have it very quickly thank you for your patience I intended for us to close early today we'll still work with that time we have to be very very fast but there's a prayer that I want us to pray you can pass your request to the last person the person by the extreme left or extreme right that makes it easy for the ushers to pick let's do that fast um, the ushers need any assistance let's let's do well to provide them the assistance as needed if you need to pen down a few more things over your request please do that very quickly please do that very quickly please do that very quickly hallelujah hallelujah okay the first prayer we're going to pray is concerning the favor of God Please listen. I know you will think that because you are part of a ministry with a grace for favor, it is working in your life. I found out that this is it's not working in the lives of many people. And the Lord put it in my heart. This was strong while we were in Canada that on my return, we should take the time, a few minutes to pray. So we're going to pray that grace. How do you know that the favor of God is upon you? Men will show you unusual kindness. They will show you unusual acceptance. They will show you unusual access. Are you ready to pray? Shout it, say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Let the grace for favor begin to speak in my life. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. This would be a major reason why someone came to church tonight. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. A major reason. Please pray. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. Someone pray. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. Favor. A redefiner of possibilities. Favor. The unique edge to business. The unique edge to ministry. The favor of God. Provoked by value. Provoked by relationships. Provoked through prayer. Provoked by the anointing. Go ahead and pray. Let favor rest upon me that if I did not receive anything in tonight's service, let me carry that grace. Let me carry that grace. Someone pray. Let me carry that grace. Let it speak redefining my finances. Let it speak redefining my opportunities. 
Let it speak, redefining my realities. Online, make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. There is a grace called favor. It can come on man. The results can be evident. Bringing acceleration to your life. That whilst you serve the purposes of God, you advance with dignity. You make progress with dignity. Favor can redefine your marriage. The favor of God can redefine your family. It is not unmerited. Favor is merited. Favor is programmable. Favor is merited. Favor can be programmable. Sapa laka tepe laka parakata zakatesh. Lebarenta sabrenda kepe lekata. Pastor, declare favor upon your life. Favor upon your ministry. Favor upon your business. Access to kindness. Access to unusual acceptance. In the name of Jesus. Unusual kindness. Unusual acceptance. Pray favor over your business. In addition to your productivity, you need favor. Pray favor upon your ministry. In addition to your diligence and consecration and love for Jesus, you need favor. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray this final prayer with all your heart. Jesus was teaching us how to pray and he said two things. Number one, he said, deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Is the second prayer I penned down while in Canada, the Lord put in my heart. Many of you do not know the mystery of calamities. Listen to my message, deliverance from calamities. You don't have to be an evil person to be a victim of calamities. Are we together now? Mishaps, misfortune. He says, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Did you know there are people who walk head on and collide with calamity? Head on. They are looking and you will think they are watching until they collide with calamity. Deliver us from evil. Are you ready to pray? Shout it. Say, Father, I decree and declare that the rod of the wicked will not come near my dwelling i am delivered from trouble from pain from setbacks from calamity go ahead and pray please open your mouth and pray calamity of any and all sorts i'm escaped like the bird before the net the rod of the wicked. Someone pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. The rod of the wicked. The rod of kidnappers. The rod of armed robbers. The rod of evil men. The rod of ill, ill speaking men. The counsels of Ahithophel, the rod of the wicked, in your place of work, Koinonia pray, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. In your business endeavor, deliver me from evil. Deliver me from the scourge of the tongue. Deliver me from the ill wishes of wicked men. Deliver me from there that will not rest till they see your tears. Those who have vowed not to rest till they see your pain. Those who have vowed not to rest till they see you defeated. Those who have vowed not to rest. Pray, deliver me from there who are in fraternity with dark spirits, looking forward to your downfall, looking forward to mishaps happening to you. One more minute, you are praying. Stretch that prayer to your children. Stretch that prayer to your spouse. Stretch that prayer to the works of your hands. Oh, I escape like the bird before the snare of the fowler.
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there are people who have no business hating you except that they kept companies and they transferred the hatred of antagonists to them and it fell on you your boss used to love you until someone who does not like you told your boss to join them in hating you and now you are fighting battles you cannot explain let me tell you the truth it is your responsibility to sanitize your environment and that through prayer are we together now the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous when a gatekeeper speaks evil about you it can peg your destiny when a, an evil person gets to the ears of your helper before your arrival they can bring whispers of this of, of demons and by the time you arrive from their ears their hearts have been poisoned when they look at you they say I've changed my mind my intention was to lift you my intention was to wipe your family but somebody came and told me your family is not worth helping and they recycle seasons of pain let me pray for someone anyone who has sent a wrong word to the ears of your helper and without you knowing that your helpers have had things about you that is responsible for the antagonisms i'm praying for you be delivered this night be delivered this night be delivered this night from the scourging tongues of men be delivered this night in the name of jesus the lord is my shepherd i lack nothing he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.